Um, Reggie, before we get started with this uh, this week's questions, is there anything that you want to speak on or talk about before we get going? Well, 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 it's a great day, y'all. It is a great day. Today is August the 5th, y'all, and it's my birthday. Three, four years ago, you couldn't tell me I was going to make it to this day. So, you know, what you haters can do, they will say, oh, oh, wish you wouldn't have. <laughs> All right. Well, thank God you're not God. But, um. Just grateful and uh, grateful. And I'll just express to my young friends out there to really uh, learn to respect uh, dates and, and times and your birthdays because you never know when you're going to have another one. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to take out time. This is on my birthday to thank my Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, for allowing me to have another one. Hope I'll be sitting here a year away from now and celebrate another one. Remember, last year this time, I was up here talking about send me a cash app and all of that. And, and then other YouTubers had a field day with that, so I won't do that this year because I don't need it. I'll just be saying, look out for a nigga because I'll look out for you if you ask me. But other than that, let's get going, John. It's a good day. I'm going to try not to be so negative this week. Can y'all believe that? See how long I can go without doing that. <laughs> okay. Um, you caught a good amount of flack in our last recording um, sessions for comments made about Shug. Um, did you want to explain that or speak on that, or do you want to just leave it as is? Damn, John. John must have took that bit in the comment section that, that I couldn't stay a day without being negative. Uh, John, you a motherfucker. Oh, man. John must have took that bit with somebody. But, um, you know what, John? Number one, I apologize. I shouldn't have put that out in the universe. But y'all know me, I'm vindictive as a motherfucker. I keep telling y'all. Y'all think y'all know Reggie Wright. Y'all don't know Reggie Wright. Reggie Wright going to get you. I've always been that way. I guess that's because I've been fat all my life, and y'all know how the fat boys like to tap back because we caught a lot of flat growing up. But y'all don't even remember. Do any of y'all that was on my head about that, did y'all go and say that in Shug's comment section when he said this about me, y'all? Crooked cop, not gonna be on nobody's line. If a crooked cop goes to 30 or 40 years, we only do a year and six, seven months, that's something different. But even after all that, I don't want to be switching that bad on this man. I see him the bad times. Even when I found out that this man can't walk, he can't wipe his ass, he can't stand up, I ain't cheer about it. Pray for him. Okay. So I had told him and reached out. And I gave them a time to when they better apologize. And I was going to start being a different Reggie Wright towards my, my, my big brother, nigga that taught me a lot in life. I'll, I'll be the first to say it. He taught me the music game. But more importantly, he taught me how to treasure money and um, with people and buy gifts and take care of females. Cause I was a cheap motherfucker with, my, with females <laughs> when I was young. When he taught me, he said, Red, you take care of your main woman. And then all the other bitches gonna wanna be like that. And they gonna be in line cause they wanna take her place. He taught me, you didn't have to, he, you didn't have to uh, buy expensive clothes and all of that stuff. So I always have a fresh pair of tennis shoes on, some nice jewelry, and a fresh haircut. And you can look good and go anywhere, Reg. He taught me about, man, don't be standing no fucking holiday in. Nigga, spend that extra money. And stay at the Four Seasons Hotel or somewhere nice when you go out. Man, you know, life is too short. Enjoy life. So that's a lot of things that Suge Knight taught me, and I appreciate it. And so, yeah, I can honestly sit up here and say that. But I just feel that the amount of things and the things that I jeopardized for Suge Knight in 96, 97, there shouldn't be nothing that can come between he and I. 
And he let niggas, in my opinion, that don't know, know me, know him, other than listening to us talk, come between us and say some things in his own little way. Didn't appreciate it. But I've been reached out to, and I've been asked to let's lay low, let's take the gloves off, because we shouldn't be doing that on YouTube towards each other. And as long as he honored the agreement, y'all won't hear. Y'all gonna hear me critiquing. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say, nah, that's a lie. That's the truth, that's a lie. But putting out negative things about him, y'all won't hear that from me no more. Until he says some things that he shouldn't say. And then, I'll put the shit, the chamber's gonna be dumped. <laughs> Well, hopefully I won't have to do that because um, after saying that, listening to that video and reflecting, I was like, damn, Rich. It shouldn't come between that, between you and that nigga, no matter what. And so that will be my take. And so I'll publicly apologize for putting that out. I'm not saying it wasn't, I'm not up here trying to deny any of it. And I don't do that. And uh, that shit that uh, uh, I never said, because y'all don't comprehend well, for those of y'all that said that I said that Maya uh, has was exposed to that. That is not what Reggie Rice said. But I know a lot of y'all comprehension, because I remember there were some scores we used to have to take going up in high school. And they used to be like, Comprehension levels. And I always read at a like two or three grades ahead of my comprehension. But those guys in my class that be we were like eighth graders or seventh graders, and they used to read second grade, third grade level, and I didn't understand that. Well, I understand it now. Because a lot of you motherfuckers' comprehensions is very, very low. <laughs> Damn. So <laughs> I couldn't even go one day, huh? <laughs> All right. I couldn't even go one segment, <laughs> not even a day. Damn, on my birthday. All right, peace bomb first.